Rob, a rest from the Premiership uh, after three very good weeks, but now back into the Champions Cup and a big title defence in that one. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, going in as as the holders, which is obviously fantastic, and it's what you work to, to try and do. And now, now we've got to decide to, to do it all again. Work just as hard, if not harder. Um, make the same things go our way. You know, it's interesting. I've just been, you know, putting bits and pieces together from last season. And you look at it and you think, you know, the big lesson you learn is you've got to fight for everything for as long as you can. And and the longer you can fight, and the harder you can fight, and eventually you might turn something your way. And you look at. You look at so many big games in last season were decided by either one score or a late score or a late moment in the game, you know, and that's kind of what they can go like. Um, but we've got to kind of put that at the back of our minds and just decide to get out there and be ourselves and work very hard from the start and not kind of wait to see what happens but make things go our way. We did that really well last year and it saw us home in the end in, in some very t- tough circumstances. And that's the kind of performance we've got to put in this week that it's, it's about 80 minutes, it's about turning up in minute one and doing the right thing. Uh, and that hopefully over the 80 minutes you'll do more right than the opposition and that will mean you'll get the result. Your squad have been going really well for those first three weeks in the Premiership, but you're buoyed by all your internationals. I'd imagine selection's been really tough this week. Selection has been tough. One of our longest selection meetings for a long time. Um, obviously, we've got a group of players playing the Premiership. We've done exceptionally well for us, collected some really valuable points. And now we shift into the, to the Heineken Cup and uh, the, the frontline competition in Europe. As you say, with internationals coming back and... Those guys have played well for their countries. They've been frontline players for us in cup finals in just a, just a few weeks ago. And making those decisions is tough. Um, but but ultimately, we're a, we're a strong squad. Everyone I've spoken to who have made changes understands the reasons for it. But they also understand there's a chance of playing next week if the guys who've returned don't perform. Because ultimately, once these guys get back in an extra shirt, it'll be their performances in an extra shirt. They'll decide. And we've got guys who've missed out this week. who have played three very good games. Um, and if it's the right thing to do, we'll bring them back. In terms of the competition itself, Glasgow, we seem to be drawing them most years now, so they're familiar foes. What are you expecting from them? Have you looked into them? It's probably been difficult because I imagine yeah. Scotland have nabbed most of their players recently. It's funny, isn't it? Because you know, we've, we've ended up with Glasgow a few times. You look at someone like say, Northampton, who seem to end up with Leinster. And it's, it's funny how it works, you know. And um, it, it will be interesting for us. And as you say, the, the, the analysing of Glasgow has been a little difficult because... Obviously, they're made up of such a large number of Scottish players that it's, it's half a team changeover. It's not, it's not really like us where, where they kind of move in in different positions. It's, it's like a, a big block of changes. That's made it a little tough. We've looked at games pre the, the Scotland players leaving. We think that's important. But also, we have looked at the structures and the systems that Glasgow both play. So we, we're pretty certain we can be pretty well prepared. As you say, we've played against a lot of the players before, very recently. Um, Obviously, guys like Johnny and Hoggy can give us a little bit of inside info, but we're, we're trying to avoid, trying to worry too much about the detail that you can do when you've had people in the camp before, because that, that can sometimes almost be a distraction. We've, we've taken the things we need to take out of those, um, the information from those guys, and then we've just decided to return now, focus on ourselves and the kind of performances that we want to create. A new format with only you know two teams to play, but... I'd imagine, like any season, you've got to go for it from the off. Is there extra pressure, though, this time, do you feel? I don't think there is, if I'm honest with you. I mean, you know, I think the reality is you've got to start well and you've got to maintain it. And, you know, if you look at it, if you look at it from that perspective, you know, last season, we didn't lose a game. Um, and we still only just come and came through as home qualifiers to, towards the end stages. And so it shows you the pressure's on from the start. You know, if, you, if you've got genuine ambitions to go a long way in the competition... You probably have to start showing those ambitions from round, from round one, um, because you know certainly if you don't win that first game, you're on the back foot. There are routes through, but it gets harder and harder. Um, and so we'll certainly be throwing everything into this first game, and we'll we'll work at round two and round three and round four once we get the weekend out of the way. Training's packed up now for the day, but um, your squad looks fit and healthy. Lots of boys coming back into the mix. Obviously, Stu Townsend's the only one that's out. Um, but Ollie would burn back in the mix as well. Yeah, Woody's back. Obviously, it wasn't too bad a bang. He was just hobbling at the early part of last week, so it was the right thing to do. He's back in the mix. You know, on the whole, we came through the game last weekend pretty well. A little bump and bruise, as you normally do. The internationals have come back, raring to go. You know, they, they've all been in contact with me during the, during the period they've been away. Um, made it clear they want to get involved straight away. They want to get into training. They're ready to go. Um, we'll build their breaks in, you know, in the forthcoming games. But at the moment, they want to get on with it and... They've got points to prove again in Europe and, you know, we've got to hope that their energy and their vibrancy coming back into the group moves us on um, from the level we're already playing.